Hello, and welcome to October. I mean, not really welcome, because it's like middle of the month, like almost literally. It's the the 14th, so we're like a day and a half away. Or like a day. Anyway, welcome to October. I'm doing this out of order for me, um, but my birch box hasn't come yet, which is weird because I actually got shipping notification of that, whereas my top box I didn't get shipping notification from because... Sometime last year, they sent out a message saying to people, hey, just to let you know, we're not going to ship out until the 15th of the month anymore because it lines up blah, better with launch dates from the majority of the partners, which does make sense. I guess movies and makeup launch probably would soon. The second Tuesday of the month, typically. But anyway, so we have... What? Oh, delectable. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is the October top box, which seems I I'm going to predict right now I'm not going to be too impressed with because it seems like a little light. But but let's see what we have. Um, as always, I choose to go with the gauze bag. Are you a lip liner? Oh, you're a liner from Star Looks. I haven't had a liner from Star Looks in about three months. Um, I shouldn't be a dick about it, actually, because I actually really like Star Looks. It's what I've had so far. Ultraviolet. What? Okay. I got distracted by the thing. Um, I'm going to chat to you while I take the plastic off of this. Uh, I have... What do I have? I have two eyeliners from Star Looks. I have had a liquid lipstick style gloss from Starlux that's very nice. So, uh, so far, the products I've had from Starlux have been really good. Um, the liner, I, the, yeah, the silver eyeliner I have is what I typically use on an every time I put my makeup on basis as my inner corner highlight, and it is wonderful. It's soft. It blends down if I wanted to. It has never irritated my eyes. Um, the black I wasn't terribly impressed with because it's just like a basic coal, and so um, because it's not waterproof or particularly touted as long wearing, um, it would be great if I was more into a smudgy liner look, uh, which I'm starting to learn to love, but I'm not there yet. Okay, this is... Can we just... Oh! I can just twist it, and it'll come off. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to pick at it, and, uh... Well, if you've ever opened anything like this before, you know that's basically just not gonna... There we go. Ah, and it sticks. Okay, and it's on the lid, and I want it off the lid before I can open it, because that's how I am. Uh, oh, I give up. So, anyway, this is... Sidetracked. So, this is... Oh, well, this is a code for... Let's go back to the beginning. So, we have this card that is uh, get 1,000 shoppers optimum bonus points when you purchase any delectable product. Um, it does have a barcode, so this is a scan-only item. Um, but to be perfectly honest, the last couple of times when I've gotten cards like this in my top box, um, it's been one of those things where, like, I went into the store to... What was it for? Um... I got like 10,000 bonus points or something like that when I got my Katy Perry perfume, um, which I love. I haven't worn that in forever. Why am I not wearing that? Oh, yeah. It's a little bit heavy. It's definitely a good winter fragrance. Mostly, it's one of those things I have to wear when I'm going out because uh, I live with my parents and both of them are quite sen sensitive. Um, so, like, extremely. If you are kind of, you, you should be okay with it. It's a beautiful fragrance and I love it and I love the way it wears down. But, um, and today I'm wearing Pharrell Williams Girl, which by the way, if you've never smelled it, you need to smell it. But I'm totally getting sidetracked. So card, uh, buying, uh, 
when you purchase any delectable product. But that's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for the actual card, um, which I'm thinking is this, which is something about, um, yeah, it's got a bunch of stuff about like gifts at Hudson Bay from Elizabeth Arden. So, but that's just letting you know, like that's not anything special to these guys. That's just letting you know what's available. Um, so anyway, wait, are you making up forever? And I've been saying star looks for like 10 minutes. Yeah, no, I'm looking at star looks. Okay. That's why. Oh, I didn't mean to look at that. Oh, crumble. See, see the card ruined surprises. I didn't pay attention enough to that. Anyway, so this is the star looks eye pencil. Highly pigmented, smooth, and effortless to apply. Starlux eye pencils glide on without tugging. Blah, blah, blah. Available for $13 at starlux.com. And I have it in ultraviolet, which I am very excited about because reasons. And first of all, um, the, the one end we can see here does not match the color. So that's a little annoying to me. Because if I was looking at this in my... <gasps> oh my god! Just... Oh. 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 Oh, it's very soft, by the way. I totally just busted the tip off of that. Um, yeah, that's so, so creamy and so beautiful and so many glitters and if you ever got this silver one from these guys from well I know that a lot of people were getting it quite often last year this is the same finish and the same texture and the same kind of little glitters and it's absolutely beautiful and this this look just look look oh my god okay I'm gonna put it down um so right there I have paid for the price of the bag, and I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> moving on. Um, I'm going to go to this delectable because, you know, apparently there's a thing, so I should decide whether or not I like it. Um, this is the Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. Apparently, it's delectable miracle material. Um, and this is coconut and cream, uh, which is, uh, it's got the foil, it's got the foil. Um, let me talk to you about this while I'm blah, blah. Apparently it's available at shoppers, this little card tells me. Um, blah, 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 available for $15 at bedelectable.com. So blah, blah, nourishing hands, blah, blah, indulge. Uh, well, the purple's gonna go as soon as I do this, but... Okay, so... My first reaction is... Oh, good God, it smells amazing. Um... And it's very thick. Very, very... Okay, oh, that's not as thick as I imagined. It's actually quite whipped. Um, so my purple's gonna go now. Just had glitter everywhere. With me, um, that sinks in really fast. Uh, yeah, no, I'm really happy with that. It smells amazing, um, and that sinks in really fast. Um, and it reminds me a lot of cake. Why do I feel like I could be wrong, but I feel like this is the lower end version of cake. I feel like they were related or something like that. No, maybe they're not. They must not be because they have a different website. <sighs> okay, and then we have something from Elizabeth Arden. Hello, phone. Oh, that's why the Elizabeth Arden blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is the Elizabeth Arden skin, uh, Superstart Skin Renewal Booster. Um, no idea what this is. Uh, helps restore the healthy look of skin, uh, surface layer, use what? Okay, 
So, either this is some kind of toner, or this is like a new step in between your toner and your serum, because it says to use it before your serum or moisturizer. Um, it boosts the result. There we go. It boosts the results of your skincare products. Um, and 30 milliliters is available for $88 at Hudson's Bay. Um, 30 mils is um, about an ounce. So there is, I don't know how much in here. And the problem with these tubes is that I have found, especially recently, um, this, this tube is so shiny. Let's just, that is like a mirror. There you go. Um, a lot of these tubes lately, especially the skincare stuff I've noticed recently, have not necessarily been as full as one would believe they'll have stiff tubes or, but let's, let's just, okay. So it's like a gel. Um, I don't know that you're going to be able to see that, yeah, that little, you know, this little thing and also my nails are a disaster. I can't smell it over the hand cream I already put on. Um, I'm actually going to do this. You know what? I'm going to do this on my wrist because I was at a skincare place one time and they told me to test all of your skincare like this on your wrist because the skin on your wrist is similar to the skin on your face, like in the, not the texture necessarily, but like, okay, it doesn't, oh no, it does. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it smells kind of like semen rolls. A little bit like the ocean and it just sinks in and it feels like serum so I'm really unclear as to whether or not this is a serum in its own right or a pre serum because they're describing that you that you use this before your serum but this is definitely not a toner so it's yeah this is very interesting. It's a very fancy product. I will try that. I'm probably, um, I'm almost through my serum. Good job, Sarah. I'm almost through my serum, so I'm probably going to use this in place of a serum when that is finished. So yeah. I'm taking way too long on this video. I'm gonna go away. Um, the last thing in here is the Makeup Forever Smoke Extravaganza Le uh, Mascara, available for $28 uh, from Makeup Forever. Um, I'm going to open this really quickly, but I can tell you right now, I am, yep, it is exactly the one I was thinking. I personally hate this mascara. Um, it's not a good formula for my lashes, because my lashes are very long, and this is... Uh, a lengthening formula. I don't find this to be particularly thickening, but I also find that it's too wet for me and where I blink a lot um, and my lashes are just crazy long and, just, and the brush and there's just some that, there's things about this mascara that bother me so intensely. I hate it. I really, I couldn't get on with it when you've tried it before. I'm not gonna try it again. I'm gonna pass this directly on to my mom who loves this formula. Um, she does. She really, really adores it. So I will give it to her and she can add it to her stash. So that is all. So yes, all in all, we have the hand cream is really nice and the eye pencil. Oh. Um, and uh, this skincare stuff is great. I'm some people are a fan of this mascara, and, um, yeah, so it's, it is good for some people. It's really good for my mom. My mom has little short lashes. Um, she really loves it. Uh, for me, where I have crazy long lashes, actually, naturally, I have quite long lashes, then it's not necessarily, it just gets all over my face. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.